I mean, the pastor's telling us today, hey, you're gonna have situations this week where God's gonna show you the couch when you wanna push. And, and, and we can easily get beside it. Some of us even touch it. We just get a little glimpse of it. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. But I'm gonna stand over here. And he's going, I'm showing you the rest right here. You, you stand behind it. You stand in front of it. Looks good behind me. He's behind me, before me, all around me. But yet you have to actually take, take the rest. Look at what he says in verse 16. I pray that out of his glorious riches, whose God's, he may strengthen you with the power through his spirit in your inner being, that you being rooted and established in love may have the power together with all the Lord's holy people. That's the flock, right? All the Lord's holy people to do what? To grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Write that down. It's, he, he prayed. We, we know how wide is the love of God. It's wide enough to be everywhere. There's no place on this planet that God's love isn't. There's nowhere you can go. There's not a place that you can go in your life where God's love is not. You may feel lonely at times. You may have to, to battle the emotional uh, discouragement of feeling lonely at times. But the fact is, is that you're never truly alone because God's love is everywhere. How wide is it? It's wide enough to be everywhere. And he said, We've, I pray that you know not just how wide, but how long. How long is the love of God? Well, it's long enough to last forever. When you're beat down, when you're feeling like a failure, when, when you're letting your past dictate how you feel about yourself, that's when God says, I'm gonna lead you to rest. And I'm gonna change your perspective. That's, I, I, want, I want you to have perspective of me of how much I love you. And if you'll do that, you'll begin to lay down and you'll begin to rest in God. He gives you perspective on the blessings that you already have in your life. How many of you know that it's easy to forget where we are and only focus on where we're not? But if all you do is focus on where you're not, you're gonna miss where you are. And where you are is extremely, extremely important. Some, some of us need just to go into the kitchen and we need to go into our pantry and look at all the food that God has blessed us with. I, I, I know it ain't Friday yet. I know the week's just starting out and you may have, uh, don't have the, the groceries that you want, but I can promise you, you are more blessed than 90% of the people in this world. You're not gonna go to bed hungry tonight. Some of you need to get grassroots level thankful and go on that thank you tour and go into your pantry and say, thank you, Lord, for the blessings that I have. It's amazing whenever I begin to see the blessings of God, how much I begin to rest in him. Not, not what I don't have, but what I currently have. Some of you, you, you just need to go into your garage or your carport or your driveway and you just see the vehicle that's sitting out there or, or know somebody that's coming in the morning to pick you up and you don't have to walk. Man, am I blessed. I get into my truck sometimes and I turn on the air conditioner and I'm going, do you know how blessed I am? <laughs> when you start getting thankful, stress goes out the window. Why? Because it's a way that God brings us rest by reminding us, giving us perspective of how much that we already have. Thank you, Lord. Yes, there's, there's things to plan for. Yes, there's things to reach for. But let's not abandon, as we reach for those things, the rest that God wants us to walk through. That he, he wants us to walk forward into those things while laying down in his rest. I can do all things. I know what it is, right? What did, the, what did Paul say? I'm gonna preach the rest of the time just like this. Y'all didn't think I was gonna do it, but I am. I know what it is to be naked, Paul said. I know what it is to be hungry. I know what it is. I, I know all those things, but I'm resting in the Lord. I know I can, I, whatever comes my way, I'm gonna have to walk through it. But you know what, spiritually? What? He makes me lay down. He makes me lay down in green pastures. Could it be that the trial that you're facing, the trial that you're going through is actually God using it to make you lie down, to get you the rest that you so desperately need? He's leading you to that rest. Are you taking the opportunity to trust Him? Are you taking the opportunity to rely on Him and find rest for your soul? 